top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, covered at the trap mail, murderous assassins, a rap and a blackmail, how you think I made it in the game, it's a rat tail. Yo guys, what's going on? Tim here. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can make your YouTube banners look a lot better in Photoshop in just a few easy simple steps. But yeah, I'll just be showing you guys how... Oh, I've just said... I always mess up on something every single time. But yeah guys, I'll be showing you how to make your YouTube banners look a lot better in just a few easy simple steps. So yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy. I know these types of tutorials do very well on this channel because the support's amazing. Like the comments are just really good. So I'm just going to continue doing these tutorials. So if you do enjoy them, make sure you smash the like button. Come and hit 250 likes on this video today. It would really mean a lot guys. Just keep up the sick support. Also guys, on Friday I will be going on holiday day to Spain it is the holidays so I'm pretty sure everyone's got a holiday then um, if you guys want me to, to record the, myself when I'm there if you want me to just do like a vlog I don't even know but yeah if you guys want to see that make sure you comment down below and hit the like button but yeah let's just get into the video right guys so the first thing I'll be showing you what to do is um, the text so um, Everyone's been wondering how I made my YouTube banner, so this YouTube banner right here is the one that I've got at the moment, and it's probably one of the best ones I've done, it just looks really cool, it's all filled and everything just fits well together, so today I'll just be showing you guys how to do the text right here, and then I'll be showing you guys how to make everything fit together, because you know you've got the... Um, thumbnails in the background you can't really see it but yeah we've got the fire we've got some clouds and stuff but I'll be showing you how to do the text and if you want any other tutorials just comment below so yeah I'll just be showing you guys how to make the text right now so yeah we'll just go into a new document just go to new um, and we'll just do default Photoshop size uh, 1920 by 1080 just to show you guys you can do this on a YouTube banner if you want but yeah, so let's try that again. So, 1920 by 1080. We'll just make the background black for now. Something like that. Alt backspace, fill in the background. So, the font, you, you don't actually have to use a font for this. Um, you can just use the pen tool and just make like a pixelated letter. Like, say, I don't even know. You want to hold down shift if you want to do pixel pixel letters. Um, so say for a P, hold down shift, click, and maybe you want to do something like this. You want to, you need to be really precise. So if you want to do it, um, something like this. So you also it'll be good if you actually used rulers to help you. So if you want the rules, just drag from the side. And yeah, it just be, it's really helpful. And you can just do stuff like that. But yeah, as you can see, it is pixelated, then you can right click. Whoops. Yeah, you can right click fill path and just choose a colour, it's up to you guys. That's one way you can do it if you want to pick it. But obviously you would spend more time on it. But there's a good font you can use. Let me just get rid of all that. There's a good font you can use. Uh Right, so yeah, the font is, what's it called, there's loads, you can get them all from daftfont.com, you can choose whatever font you guys want, but let's just have a look for one. So there's this one right here, we'll just get it up, iPixel U, it looks alright, let's just have a look at it, make it a bit bigger. As you can see, it's okay. You can probably edit it yourself, to be honest, like make it bigger and then rasterize it. And you can just like get rid of parts. So yeah, just like use this, delete, and then bang, you've got your own little thing. Maybe even something like this, delete that. Control J to duplicate, and then flip it, move it along. And bang, you've got your own little pixelated T right there. But yeah, you can just manipulate fonts, or you can just use the font itself. So I'm just going to show you how to make the text look better. So first thing you want to do is double click on the layer. In fact, duplicate it first, just in case anything goes wrong, then hide it. So let's just go on the new layer, gradient overlay, and change that to overlay. And then just bring down the opacity, so something like that. Inner glow, 
bring that up a bit, the choke and the size. Change that to overlay as well, and you've got something like that going on. Bring down the opacity a bit. You can also do satin, bring up the distance, and also the overlay. And you get like this cool little swerve here, and you can also change that to overlay, and it just gives a really cool effect if you bring down the opacity. It looks really nice, but yeah, in a shadow, you can add that as well. And if you change that to overlay, it also looks really cool. So it's just up to you guys, if you want to do any of the stuff, it's totally up to you. You can also do this, if you go over to here, and then maybe that one, and then change it to overlay, bring down the opacity, maybe to like 4, and it just gives it a cool little effect, like a gradient to it. Not a gradient, like an overlay, it looks nice. So the next thing we're going to do is just rasterize the layer, Control J to duplicate it, and then go to filter stylize oh no pixelate mosaic and then just bring it up a bit the size something like that nice and then go to filter stylize find edges and then filter fill a filter gallery and we'll just wait for that and then something like this it's up to you guys what you want to do I'll just leave it like that for now and then overlay looks good so we'll just create a clipping mask and then you've got that and then I bring down the opacity and it just as you can see it looks really cool it gives it a pixelated effect and it looks nice so yeah that's about it for that you can add other effects if you want but if you can press ctrl j to duplicate it and then for the bottom one the one below it just use the arrow keys and move it down then press ctrl u and we'll change the colour of it to something darker like that that looks nice Ooh. right so yeah you've got that that looks pretty cool and then if you group them both together and then add a new layer go to black And then you can just like add a glow over here. It's up to you guys. And then you can change that to overlay. Create a clipping mask. And then bring down the opacity. And it looks pretty cool. And then you can also do the same with white. And create a clipping mask. Change that to overlay. Bang. Okay. So as you can see it does look pretty similar, I don't think it's the same font, um, but yeah you can find different fonts on dafont.com and yeah that's basically what it looks like on there and that's what it looks like here. Um, you can also if you want, it would look better if we had like a proper background but on here, if you go to a similar colour that you're working with, so I'm working with like a purple so if you just click, like click and then change that to colour dodge or oh, it's screen mm, colour dodge yeah and if you bring down the opacity it gives it a really nice glowing effect so if you want if you're doing it on a YouTube banner or even a poster or something then the glow just makes it look really cool and then you can like change the angle of it and stuff so if you press if we just get rid of the glow you can actually change the angle of it if you go to perspective and then hold shift you can just change the angle of it and it looks really nice and also what I've done on my YouTube banner I've changed the rotation of it which also looks really cool now another effect you can do to make it the text look a bit more pixelated uh, is go to the magic oh no the uh, selection tool the rectangle one and just make a selection then use the arrow keys and just move it over a bit like so and then do the same a bit further down something like this and then if you just keep doing this 
all the way down it gives it a really nice effect so we'll just keep doing this Okay, so bang. So obviously that doesn't look the best, but obviously you can change it to whatever you want. Gives it really cool effects, that pixelated retro style, it looks really nice. But yeah, that's probably about it for that text tutorial on how to make your just your banners look really cool if you want to make a pixelated text. So that's the way it was before, and that's what it was after. Looks really cool, massive difference. Um, but yeah, it's just as you can see, it didn't really take me that long to make it, so it doesn't take long and it just makes a really cool difference. So yeah, it doesn't take up too much time. I actually think this text looks a lot better. Well, this T right here looks a lot better than the one on the banner, as you can see. Very similar colors, but it gives it a bit of a different effect. So yeah, if you guys want to see another tutorial like this on how to like change things up and make the banners look a lot better, like there's loads of different effects on here. You've got over here this like ray, I don't know what it is to be honest, it just looks cool. I've got the flames, I did, um, I think it was in my last video or the video before on how to make a thumbnail. Um, I did put the fire PNG in the description so you can download that, but yeah. I really do like this banner. Also guys, just like to say thanks so much for the sick support on the channel recently. We are getting close to 7k and 10k by the end of the year. I did set that quite a while ago and I still think we can get it. So let's just keep up the awesome work guys. Keep commenting, keep sharing the video. Sharing does mean a lot. If you share on Twitter, I usually retweet it. So if you want to get a retweet, just share it. And also comment what videos you want to see as always. Thanks for watching, like the video, subscribe, and I hope you guys are having a sick day today, and I'll see you in the next video.